Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. Today we're going to talk about using lossy DNG instead of deleting. Hey folks, very quick because I'm going to be running out very shortly to go with my Maggie light doing some experimental stuff, uh, tube tribe kind of stuff. So gonna jump on with this, so let's get straight into Lightroom. So here we have a catalog that has a range of images in it. Um, now it's not the whole shoot, I just picked up a random bunch of stuff because I don't want to spend ages having you wait on me showing stuff. So I got one star, two star and three star images. But let's say I don't want to keep these ones. I could delete them, but let's say I'm the type that's afraid and I, I don't like deleting anything. Well, I can convert them to DNG instead and I can convert them to a type of DNG called lossy DNG. Now lossy DNG are they basically use the tone curve that's within the image instead of like an sRGB tone curve and then apply JPEG compression. It's So they're kind of creating JPEG versions of RAWs, except that you can still change exposure and you can still change your white balance. So it's essentially a compressed RAW file. They're the same things that are used to, for smart previews. So it's exactly that same tech. So better than JPEG, but won't take up as much room as either a full DNG or your RAW file. Now, DNG files actually are bigger than the RAF files I use, which are the compressed ones. So I use compressed RAF, and they're about 20 megapixels on this shoot, and ordinary DNGs in this shoot will be about 30. So uh, actual real DNGs versus lossy DNGs would be no good to me. They wouldn't save me any space. So I'm just going to show this one here, uh, show and finder. So we're going to have a look at the size of this one here. And we can see that this is 22.7 megabytes. So let me do a test here, first of all, for a change. So I'm going to go convert photo to DNG. Now, I'm only going to convert raw files and I'm going to delete originals after successful conversion. Now I'm going to show you how to do the selection of that on all that kind of stuff in a minute. But first, let's do a quick test and we're going to have this used lossy compression. And we're not going to embed the original raw file because that will make it bigger. And we're going to have embed fast load data because this means the file will load uh, quicker, uh, just handier. So I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna click OK and it will delete the original and turn into a DNG. So it's RAF here and now it's a DNG. So same as before, go to folder. Oh no, I've got the wrong one there now. Show and finder. So we can see this is 6.1 megabytes. So it's a significant saving. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, I've gone to the bother of having at least one star. So these images were good enough to pass my first phase, but didn't make it into my final selection. So I want to definitely keep those ones as rafts. So I'm going to select all of these. And now what I'm going to do is turn off my filter here by literally just dragging across on the stars so that there's no stars selected. So we can see that the images are still selected themselves, but I can see all of my images now because the filter is off. So now I go to edit and I go invert selection and invert selection now gets rid of, uh, well, or changes the selection so that anything that doesn't have a star in it is no longer selected. It's the quickest way to do it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna to go to that library, convert photos to DNG. Um, so for, I'm just actually, just very quickly before we go, at the bottom it should tell us, no, we can uh, if I jump up here and I right click on this, which we will get info. And it should tell us that we've 1.39 uh, gigabytes on disk. So now jump back to Lightroom. And we're going to do this. Click OK. So obviously it's going to ignore the one that's done, uh, but it'll run through the rest of them. So 32 photos that it's going to do. OK, so now that we're at the end, I'm just going to go back down to select one image again. If it'll let me select one image again. Do you want finder? So we can see all these are 6.1. So same story, going to jump back to here, right click, get info. Actually, and we can see it's 938. So we have dropped from 1.39 to 0.939. So we've saved ourselves quite a bit. So folks, that is how you would use lossy DNG instead of deleting. Um, so these are still editable files. So I don't really want to show them in too much detail because they're obviously files that were rejected. And this one here looks reasonably okay. So if I go to D for develop, because it's just showing a better preview at the moment, we can see here that we have a white balance. Now I do seem to have this bug with the white balance slider. So um, we can see we have proper white balance control and we have proper exposure control. So it's not like we're dealing with uh, JPEG. We do have that control still with the DNG. 
So I don't recommend doing this for all shoots. Definitely not. Okay. There are stuff where you just don't know that you've got keepers in there that you may come back to in the future. Definitely don't do it on those shoots. These are on shoots that are delivered. The files are there. I'm never going to look at the other files again because I know I've made my selections uh, and I've kept all of the ones that were the better selections anyway, so I don't mind. And I would generally actually delete these to bring space because I don't want to be looking at them again and again and again. And that's why this folder will actually stay generally with the three star uh, filter on. So that's it. So folks, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit, of course, hit the notification bell and all of that kind of stuff. You know the story this, uh, at this stage. Please do, it should be hitting 5,000 now. So that's great. Obviously I'll need to get up to 10,000 as well to get any kind of more support from uh, YouTube. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. Folks, I will see you in the next video. Um, I, I've, I've been doing videos all week and just not posting them. I just need to get around to doing it. Anyway, folks, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.